Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, hey, how are you guys? How you doing this day? Nice. That's Aida. Welcome. Diana Yamile. That's cool. Great. David Moises. Zulma Beltran. How was the weekend, guys? What did you do on those two days? Basically, three days, right? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. How was it? What did you do? Tell us about it. Brenda will come. What activities you did? Did you go out? Did you watch any movie? I stayed home? That's Aida, what did you do? <clears throat> did you go to the shore? And I went to the church. I went to the shore. <laughs> yeah, hey, that's good. And then I went to party. To a party. Good. That's Infantil. nice. How do you say a infantil? kid's party? A kid's, kids party. party. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. Did <laughs> you hit the piñata? Yay, teacher. Yeah. Oh, you got candies <laughs> and all of that. Imagine. Now you got good memories. You yes. imagine <laughs> when you were a kid, right? <laughs> that is good. That was on Saturday or Sunday? Uh, Sunday. On Sunday. Very good. Thank you. Nice. What about you, Diana? How was your weekend? Diana, are you here? Brenda? Brenda Carolina? Good. good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you, girl? Everything good? Uh, <clears throat> I went to the park. And... You went to the park? Okay. And <clears throat> I ate... Pupusas? You ate pupusas. That's good. In which park did you visit? In in los planes de render. Los planes. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can imagine that this day must be really cold, right? Yes, it must be really yes, cold. Teacher. Yeah, that's good. So you can enjoy a delicious coffee there with a company with pupusas. Great. Thank you for sharing. Good. David, what about you? <clears throat> Listening to music. I That's good. Visited my friend. Ah, you visited your friend. Where? In yes. which place? In San Salvador, Santa mm. Tecla. Where? Mm. Metro Centro Lourdes. Ah, Metro Centro Lourdes. Do you live in Metro yes. Centro? Or around Metro Centro, sorry. Do you live in Lourdes? Um, yes. Yeah, ah, that's good. You have the opportunity then to visit that mall. Nice. Thank you. That's good. Sulva, what about you? What did you do on your weekend? Sulva, are you here? No? Estela? <clears throat> Eric? Yes. Hello, Eric. How was the weekend? Hello, I am. I sleep and I watch I TV. Ah, that's good. I slept and watched TV. Excellent. Great. Yes. Nice. Very good. So you had time to relax. That is good yes. to take time, to, right? To relax a little bit. Necessary. Thank you. Yes, That's thank you. good. Okay. Let's go ahead. Remember that we were with introduction of present perfect. Let's have some review to remember and refresh your minds about it. And we got here a short exercise. The one we are going to complete. For this, we need to write the questions in order. So you have here, they are scrambled. How can it be the correct form, the correct order? Has Mary. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Has Mary? Has Mary. What else? Spoken to Nick. 
Excellent. Spoken to Nick. That's great. Has Mary spoken to Nick? Really good. Nice. What about number two? Freddy, help us. Hello. Hello, Freddy. What they will be have... number two? Question. It's a question. Oh. Okay. So... They have... It's a question. Remember, when it's a question, oh. you need to put the auxiliary have first. They... Uh -huh. Have they... Have, have they... they... Eating. Eating. Uh-huh. Pizza today. Excellent. That's right. Today. Have they eaten pizza today? Really good. That's nice. Number three, Wilfredo. Hello, boy. Hi, teacher. Hello, boy. What about hey. three? Has your friend spent a lot of money? That is correct. Excellent. Has your friend spent a lot of money? Great job. Okay, now we're going to answer them. Let's see. Maria Mercedes? First, we're going to read them. Maria, are you present? No? Fatima? Hi, Miss. Hello, girl. Welcome. Voy entrando. Okay. Can you read the question, please? Number one. Has Mary? Has Mary spoken to Nick? Thank you. That's good. David, could you please answer it? Has Mary spoken to Nick? Uh -huh. Spoken to Nick? Hola. How will be an, an answer? How will be an answer? This one can be affirmative or negative. Affirmative. Okay, go ahead. Say the answer, please. Has Mary spoke to Nick? Uh -huh. But the answer. Yes. yes. Mary, remember, is the subject. So it's he or she. Mm -hmm. Yes. She. She, remember, because it's Mary. She. She, uh-huh. What else? If it's short answer, is have or has? Has. Has, correct, because it's third person singular. That's great. Thank you. That's good. Uh, Daisy, are you here, Daisy? Daisy, yes, are yes. you? Yes. Okay. Rena, number two, please. The, um, the question have they yes, mm -hmm. yes I you no know, yes they they eat, eat pizza but you need auxiliary have they eaten pizza today yes, yes. have yes have yes and then you need the subject Yes, they, they have. They have. Yes, that will be a short answer. Yes, okay. they have. Yes, they have. They have. They have. That's all right. Great. Thank you, Margarita. Hi, teacher. Hey, girl. Good to see you. Nice to see you. What about the next one? Number three. Has your friend spent a lot of money? I'm sorry, teacher. I just gonna. Can you please ex explain me? Ah, uh, sure. We are here with an exercise with the present perfect, and here okay. the question was in disorder, like a scrambled, and here we already put them in order. Now you just need to give an answer. Has okay. your friend spent a lot of money? It can be affirmative or negative. Okay. Yeah, he always spends a lot of money. Mm -hmm, that's good. What about if it's a short answer? The one you need yeah, to he... include? Yes? Yes. He... he or she? He. He in auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, he. Have or has? Mm -hmm. He has. Exactly. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because it's one. 
Okay, it is yeah. a third person singular. You yeah. use he has. That's great. Yes, nice one. Has. Great. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Well. Thank you very much. Okay. This good one night, was... Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Selena uh, Jamilet Reyes Anaya is reporting. He, he, she is reporting problems to enter to the platform. Okay. Thank you. I will inform. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Now, let's go ahead on the next one. Next exercise that we got. Okay, this is another one to continue practicing the present perfect tense. I think this one I sent it to you. I sent you the link by WhatsApp. Did you see it? No? Did one yes, is to Yes, you saw it? Did you solve it? Did you finish it? Some sentences. Some sentences? Okay. So let's remember it. Number one. You need to use the verb paint. How will this be? A man has painted. Uh -huh, painted. Has painted the wall. The wall. Very good. Thanks. What about number two? She has. She has. No sé cómo se escribe. What what it is? Watered. Watered. Okay. Has watered. Look, water is also an action. You can water your plants. You can water the flowers. You can water the trees. That means regarlos, right? Because you're putting water to them. So she and is a regular bird. It's like dust. I'm sorry. That is the bird like dust. Like dust. What do you mean? Dust. Polvo. Dust. I like dust. It's, it's another verb. It's too. another. Exactly. That's dust. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Just that this one is to put water, right? She has watered the plants in the garden. What about three? Fatima. Help us, please. He has mm -hmm. been, been to ¿cómo se pronuncia? Switzerland. 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 That's good. Thank you. He has been to Switzerland. All right. Bethsaida, what about four? All my friends complete the homework. Complete. And the auxiliary? All my friends have. That's right. Uh -huh. Have Com complete. completed completed the homework. The homework. That's all right. Great. Eric, continue. Five. Fatima has. Uh huh. Right. Right. Past participle of right? Beautiful What's the past participle of right? Written. Has? Written. This one is irregular verb. Oh. Has written. written. A beautiful good. history. A beautiful history. Very good. That's nice. Right. Maria Mercedes. Ali. Greeting. Auxiliary. Yes, allowed. Me quedo That's como nada. That's greeting. No. Ali. Auxiliary. Ali has greeting. Ah, that's greeting. good. But the verb is not right. The verb is learn. Learn. Excuse me. Ali has learned. 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 That's right. Good. Learned. French. Learn French. French. That is correct. Very good. Okay. We have a 
present perfect form. And this one is third person singular, right? Okay, now let's read this one. Freddy, can you read the first one, please? Number one, Amen. Amen. I mentioned the world. Excellent, great. Wilfredo, number two. La confianza es para niños y perros. Solo puedes confiar en una persona. Number two. Freddy? Excuse me, teacher. Oh. Who continue? <laughs> Freddy, oh, can okay. you continue? Number two. Okay. She has waited. Watered? The plant. Watered? Watered. The plant in her garden. In her garden. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Let's see. Continue, Marvin. Number three. Number three, please. He has been to Switzerland. That's all right. Thank you. Continue, Claudia Cruz. Claudia Cruz, are you here? Germán? Germán Ulises? William? William? Yes. yes. Uh, which Number one? Four. Number four, please. Number four. I have to complete it. No, just read it because we have it complete. Okay. All my friends have completed have completed the homework. That's all right. Thank you, Solma. Solma. David. Fatima has a written a beautiful written? story. Written. 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 A beautiful, a beautiful story. story. Very good. Thank you, Stella. Ali has learned. Has learned. Has learned French. French. Has learned French. French. That's all right. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Now let's analyze what type of verbs we have here. In number one, painted. Uh, this verb is regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Perfect. Has watered. Regular. 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 Perfect. Bing. Regular. 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 Very good. Completed. Regular. 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 Excellent. Written. Irregular. 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 Learned. Regular. Regular. Perfect. Okay. This is the continuation. Number seven. We got the verb play. What about this one? How can we complete it? Raquel? Raquel Esther? Sí, teacher. Um, they, uh -huh. they? They has played the volleyball. Plural. Plural. Ah. They have? They have uh -huh. played the volleyball. That's all right. They have played the volleyball. As we have plural, right? Because it's they, then you use auxiliary have. Very good. Thank you. Diana, are you here, Diana? No? Margarita, can you help us with number eight, please? <clears throat> Margarita? Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello, girl. Number eight, please. My uncle has mm -hmm. a baked... Has baked? A cake. Very good. Nice. Third person, that's good. Baked, As baked, baked, right? Excellent, that is correct. Okay, very thank good. You. Thank you, nice. Continue, Pablo. Pablo, are you with us? Yes. Hello, yes. Hello, Pablo, welcome. Number nine. My dad has. Excellent. Visited. Very good. Um, the last word. Uh, Louvre. 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 Yeah, that's Louvre. good. Louvre. Your Louvre is the National Museum in France. Ah. It's oh, this yeah. one. Yes. The National yes. Museum. That's why it's very strange. 
is French words. Ahorita se me hizo familiar, me sonó. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Louvre. Pablo. Very good. Thank you, Miss. Thank you. Louvre. Roberto Louvre. Carlos. Louvre. Roberto Carlos. Are you here? No. Zulma. <clears throat> Marvin. Hi. Tell us, please. Hello. Oh, number 10. Okay. Um, number 10. My sister break. Uh, present perfect. Auxiliary. Um, I don't remember what it is. Have or has. Is third person singular? Ah, yeah. Ah, my sister has. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Now, past participle of break. Uh, it's, I don't remember. It's a regular verb. Irregular. I don't remember what it is. Broken. broken. Okay, broken. broken. Thank you. Broken. My sister had broken the chair. The chair. Excellent. That's great. Thank you. Brenda. 11. We have. She has. Third person. She has. Past participle of the verb for got. I don't hmm. remember this one. Forgotten. 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 Yes. Here you have it in the past because the base form will be forget. This is the base form. Simple past forgot and past participle forgotten. She has forgotten. Continue. Hair. Her car keys. Her car keys. At the shop. At the shop. Very good. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead on the next one. All right. This is the last part of this exercise. Number 12. Daniela. Daniela Beatriz. Yes. Yes. Help us, please. Number 12. The children have enjoyed a lot in the park. Uh -huh. Enjoyed a lot. That's good. Okay. Have enjoyed. Enjoyed a lot in the park. Great. Thank you. Claudia. Are you here, Claudia? William, help us with tw uh, 13, please. 13. My whole family. My whole family. Is. Have goals. Has. Look, family ha. is taken as a group, a singular form. Ah, okay. Has. It's like in Spanish that we don't say mi familia han ido. Ha ido. It's taken a as singular. Uh -huh. Okay. Not a thing. It's a third person singular. Like so, it. Not like it. You're saying like it, but it's like a group. Okay. So what is the verb it in past participle? Has. Uh -huh. the going. Verb. Gone. 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 Uh -huh. Past participle. Gone. That's good. My whole family has gone to. The wedding. To the wedding. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Fatima. 14. He has mm -hmm. watched this movie on Netflix. That's right. He has watched this movie <laughs> on Netflix. That's great. Nice one. Thanks, Wilfredo. 15. She she has she has done excellent all all her all her homework that is great all her homework very good job oh, nice God. great okay let's see about number twelve this is a form of the verb is regular or irregular enjoy regular regular, regular right it has ed Gun. And irregular. 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 Perfect. Watched. 
regular, 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 done. Irregular. That's irregular verb. Excellent. Great. Questions? All right. We got a conversation here. It says, my feet are killing me. It's similar than the conversation we saw the last week, but just with a little bit difference in expressions or some vocabulary. This one is about Erin and Carlos. And it begins like this. It's great to see you again, Carlos. Have you been in Orlando long? You too, Erin. I've been here for about a week. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the theme parks yet? Yeah, I've already been to three. The lines were so long. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. Well, I've already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. I know that. I bet you haven't visited the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Actually, I've already been to the Space Center and met an astronaut. Continue here. He says, wow, you've done a lot. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy today. My feet are killing me. New vocabulary. What is the meaning of bet? Bet, apostar. Uh -huh. I bet you haven't visited the Kennedy. I bet. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, Miss. My pleasure. Any other question? They participate. Which one? They they. They first yet. Where is it? Who says that? Erin, Carlos? Erin, Erin, Miss. Erin, Erin, he's going to see you. Los parques temáticos. Ah, parks. Oh, is that? Oh, you yeah. mean the theme parks? Exactly. Okay. You're talking about it. The theme parks. For the example, here we have parks. the ferrocarril, right? They have a theme park there that's about trains. Any other one? Yes. All right. Let's practice it then. Wilfredo, you begin. Erin. It's great to see you again. Carlos, have you been in Orlando long? Thank you. Maria. You too, Erin. I be, I been, I been here, here for about a week. A week. A Thank week. you, Eric. <clears throat> Eric, are you there, Marvin? I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to the theme parks yet? Thank you, Pablo. Yeah, I've already been to three. The lines were so long. Great, thank you, Betsaida. Okay, well, how about shopping? I know a great store. A great store. A great store. Thank you. Continue, William. Well, I've already been to so many stores. I can't buy any more clothes. That's great. Thank you, Freddie. I know what. I bet you haven't visited the, the Kennedy Space Center. It's an hour away. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. Actually, I already, 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 already been to the space center. 
and meet an astronaut. Very good. Thank you, Eric. Eric, you're Erin. <laughs> wow. Shoot down a lot. Well, is well, is here. Anything is there? You is want there? to do? That's good. Is, is there? there? Good. Uh -huh. Is there anything you want to do? Thank you, Daniela. Brent. You know, yes, I, I really just want to take it easy today. My feet are killing me. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Thanks. Questions. Okay, let's go ahead then. Now we go ahead with this one, with this objective. It says, in this session, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. We will see what's the difference here. Hi, everyone. A conversation will be listened Not a problem with the video? No, miss. No problem. Okay. problem. No Great. problem. Thank um, you. Good. To practice Good. present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. All right, let's see the conversation. Look, here the quality of the image is not very good, guys. So I don't know if it's possible for you to read it. Can you? If not, we practice something else because I know you are going to force your sight. Van a forzar mucha la vista acá. The quality is not very good. But I have this conversation that is very similar. Better, let's practice this. This one is, have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? between Erin and Carlos again. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. So have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant or have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? No, I haven't. Are they good? They're delicious. I've had them many times. You really like Cuban food. Have you ever been to Cuba? No, but I went to college in Miami. I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. So you see, no necessary to go to the place to eat that food. Let's check vocabulary. Questions? Have a mini, what a mini, uh, chosen, chosen. Chosen, you say chosen, Pardon. it comes from the verb choose. What is choose? Elegir. Elegir, very good. But this one is in present perfect. Has escogido, has elegido, or ya has elegido, because you have yet. Remember that yet, it means ya, in the question, right? So you see, it, the past participle of the verb chose. Thank you. My pleasure will come. Any other question? All right, let's go ahead and practice our conversation then. 
Freddy, you begin, please. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? Thank you, Betsaida. No, only for a few minutes. 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 Mm -hmm. So, have you choose? Chosen? 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 Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Great, Eric. I can decide. I can't we decide. Can go to, I can't. can't decide. We can go to a big restaurant. Or have a or sandwich. Have. Or have a sandwich at a cafe. Have you ever had a Cuban sandwich? Thank you, William. No, I haven't. Are they good? Great, Marvin. Teacher, 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 yes, teacher. Tell me. When when do you report problems to enter to the platform two? I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, one of Wendy's. I think that we have two Wendy's. That's right. Yes, we have two Wendy's actually. Yeah. This report. Of, ah, okay. In in the group of That's WhatsApp. Report. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Wow, there are like three or four. They have problems. Yes. Okay, let me report it again. Thank you. I just write here. They are delicious. Okay, reported. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so it says they are delicious. They are delicious. I've had them. I have them many times. Thank you. That's good, Maria. Continue. You, you really, you really like Cuban food. Cuban food. Cuban food. Cuban food. You really like Cuban food. How you ever been to Cuba? Cuba. Cuba. That's right. Thank you. Fatima. No, but uh, I went to college in Miami. College? College? College in Miami. I eat empanadas. I ate? I ate? I ate empanadas and rice and beans all the time. All the time. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Notice that this conversation... Now we have another part in the one we put emphasis on certain topic. It says in this lesson, participants will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. So let's check the difference that we got here. First, we're going to pass the, li the list, guys. So let me know that you are present, please. All right, let's begin with Andrea. Andrea de Los Angeles. Andrea de Los Angeles. I think, let me check if she's in the group. Okay, yes. Betsaida. Thank you. Thank you, Betsaida. Brenda Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Claudia Carolina. Thank you so much. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you. David Moises. Present. Thank you. Daisy Estefania. Present. Thank you, Daisy. Diana Jamilet. She had problems. I oh, know Selena Jamilet has problems, but Diana, I saw her connected. Evet Jaciel. <laughs> Selena said present in the chat. In the chat of the, okay, thank you. All right, thank you so much. Eric Ronaldo. Present. 
Thank you so much. Estela Guadalupe. Excuse me, teacher. Excuse me. Uh, it sorry. was uh, Diana, no Selena. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right, let me take it here. Thank you so much. Fatima Larisa. I'm here. Thank you so much. Freddy Ernesto. Thank you. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Jennifer Saraí. <clears throat> Jennifer Saraí, Julia Margarita, present teacher. Thank you, <coughs> Maria Mercedes. Present Miss. Thank present, you, miss. thank you, Marvin Mitalicio. Present Miss. Thank you, Marvin. <coughs> Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Pablo. Raquel Esther. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy Adamaris. I know she wrote, I think. Yes, she has problems to connect. Wendy Beatriz. <clears throat> Wendy Beatriz Wilfredo Alberto Present Miss Thank you William Alexander William Alexander Thank and you Herman Ulises said present too in the platform Thank you so much Thank you Selena Jamilet Ah yes she said right yeah mm -hmm. Selena, Zulma Natividad. Zulma, Zulma Natividad. All right, guys, we're going to continue then. Yes, we have Germán. Okay, he's listening. Diana present. Thank you, thank you, guys. Okay, let's go on this. In this part now, we'll see the difference between present perfect and our simple past. Soon we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Okay, let's see it then. What would be the difference? Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Yeah, remember that here with present perfect, we are not marking when we did the action. Is that we just have done the activity. In the simple past for a specific event in the past. Now in the past, is that the actions that occurs, so they are finished actions already. The period of time is already closed. For example, if I ask, have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. You have the answer here as a short manner. But here, if you want to emphasize on the specific time when you ate this type of food, then you use the simple past. I ate it. You cannot say like I I have eaten it, right? Like once. Or negative. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. 
I've never eaten it. That means zero, zero occasion, zero times. Another one will be like this. Have you ever got, uh, had green curry? Yes, I have. Short answer. Until this time, we have not mentioned when. But if you want to mention when you did the action, then it's necessary to use the simple past. I tried it several years ago. If you're saying several years ago, okay, you're referring to the past. If it's negative, no, I haven't. I've never had it. Now, let's see about other examples. Have you ever traveled to Paris? Yes, I have. I was there last Christmas. Notice that the first form of the answer here, you got it, but in the present perfect. But we don't mention the time. You want to be specific. You want to give like uh, the specific information when you did this action, then you need to use simple past. What is the specific time here? I was there last Christmas. What is the specific time? Last Christmas. Exactly. Last Christmas. We are being very specific. You know when the activity occurred. Now, if it's negative, you don't mention the time, right? Simply say, no, I haven't. I've never been there. But it's possible that in the future, you can be in that place. Another one. Have you and your family ever dived in the ocean? No, we haven't. This will be negative. Or if it's affirmative, yes, actually we dived in the ocean last vacation. Do you have a question about this new vocabulary? <clears throat> dived? dived? Uh -huh. This one is the past participle of the verb dive. That means bucear. You can dive in the ocean, you can dive in the lake. So we have the past participle form. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a regular or irregular verb, guys. Dived. Regular. Regular, regular perfect. You. you include the D at the end. That's right, good, okay. Let's go ahead on the next part. Got more here, and we have here some images. Go to a theme park, go dancing, visit a space center, eat Cuban food, see an alligator. Now let's mention which of these activities have you done? Let's have some examples here. Have you ever gone to a theme park? Of course, I went to Museo del Ferrocarril two years ago. Have you ever visited Museo del Ferrocarril? That's in San Salvador. In Sonsonate. Ah, Son is Sonate. there another one? Yeah. Sonsonate. Ah, okay. There is one also in San Salvador. Okay. Uh -huh. There is one, but this one is the museum. You can yeah. go there and take pictures. And actually, there is a small restaurant in one of the trains. They sell very delicious food. Actually, it's junk food, right? Fast food. So that will be one. Let's see the next one. Have your parents ever eaten Cuban food? No, they never have. So if this one has not happened, then you cannot use the simple past, right? Because you don't have a specific time. Simply, this activity has not occurred yet. Not by the moment, but possibly that it can occur in the future. If this one is affirmative, yes, they traveled to Cuba four years ago and tasted a lot of typical food there. Notice that here we have a lot of information in the answer. It's not necessarily, oh, yes, they have. Yes, they traveled to Cuba four years ago. You can include more information about it. Questions about this? All right, let's practice now. Notice that here we just have taken two 
of the phrases we have about the pictures. But now I need you to select another one. Let's see, Eric, you select one of the pictures and formulate the question. You're going to ask Fatima. <clears throat> you say like this, have you ever? Have you ever gone? Gone, visit uh -huh. gone? Oh, gone? Look, if you don't need gone because you use visit. So it's, have you ever visited? Have you ever visited, visited? a special space center? That's good. Okay. No, they never visit a space center. Uh huh. So, no, I have never visited a space center. A space center. Very good. Nice. Betsaida, you asked Maria. Oh, sorry. Maria, have you ever eaten Cuban food? Cuban food? I I went to museum. Cuba. She's investigating it, about eating Cuban food. I can you repeat the question? I, 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 sorry, sorry. Have you ever eaten Cuban food? All right, thank you. I eaten. Yes, I uh, have. Yes, I have uh, eaten. 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 Uh, patacones. Really? Uh, um, That's Cuban food. Yes. <laughs> patacones, yes. oh my good. But is that pa is pla patacones? Um, 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 este, ay, excuse me. What is the Pata other one? Patacones, um, Andrin Mojito. <laughs> ah, okay, Mojito. <laughs> Very good. That's nice. <laughs> Thank you. That's good. Look how this question is. Versailles asks, have you ever eaten Cuban food? And Maria's answer is affirmative because she has. Now, if you say, yes, yes. I have. <clears throat> As this one is affirmative, if you want to include the specific information because you said patac patacones or petacones how is it <laughs> so, pa, son is pa, is patacones ah okay when did you eat patacones is the when? last year two months ago mm. The is the banana, banana is the banana um, different. Is that a restaurant? Yes. No. Okay. Is a restaurant in, in here in El Salvador or in Cuba? In Cuba. Ah. Okay. Very good. Now. So, when did you eat? When did you eat patacones? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo los comió? When did you eat them? Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Hace dos años. Two years Hace... ago. Two years Two ago. Years ago. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. I ate patacones in Cuba two years Ago. Ago. So now here you're being a specific. Thank you, Maria. That's good information. Nice. So if you notice here, we have the question is in present perfect. Because you're investigating in some time in your life, you have eaten Cuban food. You say, Yes, I have. A specific information. I want to share what is the specific time that I ate this food. I ate patacones in Cuba two years ago. 
So okay. now it would be incorrect to say, I have eaten patocones in Cuba two years ago. It would be incorrect. It would sound like, he comido patacones en Cuba hace dos años. He comido hace dos años. It's not logical, right? It doesn't match. For that reason is that present perfect is indefinite. Presente perfecto es indefinido. But simple okay. past is a specific. It's definite time. So here, okay. two years ago, is simple past. You finished the action already. That is possible that you repeat when you go to Cuba again. Or maybe here in El Salvador exists a Cuban restaurant, right? Do you know if exists any Cuban restaurant here in El Salvador? Mm. No, no, teacher. No, right. I have not heard. No. Not, not for a specific, no. right, Cuban food. Maybe it's one restaurant cha, cha, that they cha. Really? Cha-cha-cha in downtown? Uh, really? They sell that? Cuban food? Only Cuban food? Or is that any kind of food? Variety of food? <laughs> Only the name. <laughs> Only the name. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. In, in, in San Salvador. In San in downtown. Salvador. Ah, cha-cha-cha. Is that around Centro Histórico or where? Yes, Centro Histórico. Okay, actually, that, that's very beautiful, right? These days, they have made a lot of bars, cafes, mm -hmm. so it's a good place, especially now that they have almost finished all the construction of the streets, right? Mm -hmm. Great, guys, nice. Let's continue. Now, thank Marvin, you, thank, thank you. you so much for sharing. Great. Marvin, now select another one. Is missing okay. go dancing, see an alligator. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, you're going to ask the questions to William. Okay. William, have you ever uh, danced? Have you ever gone dancing? Oh, okay. Have you ever gone dancing? Uh, mm -hmm. You can mention a specific discotheque if you want. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't remember any <laughs> discotheque. Actually, <laughs> which uh, one? Uh, I don't remember any. Maybe in La Zona Rosa? Okay. Um, or or uh, cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Repeat the question, please. <laughs> okay, William. Have you ever gone dancing in Cha 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 restaurant? Nice. <laughs> William, are you sleeping? <laughs> Sometimes, but today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> William? I have to read something, Bella. Uh, no, answer. Answer, go dancing. Uh -huh. Have you ever gone dancing at El Cha Cha Cha? In my case, not. No? Okay. So it's a negative answer. How will it be? No, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. That's good. Or no, I never have. That's right. Great one. Thank you. Let's see. Daisy, are you here, Daisy? Yes, me. Hi, Daisy. You're going to ask the question to Margarita. Okay. Margarita, have you ever seen an alligator? An alligator? Alligator. Right. Thanks. Uh, yes, I have. I saw one two years ago in the zoo. Excellent. That's right. Great answer. Great question. Look. Here. As you said, it's affirmative and you wanted to express what is the specific time, then you're using the simple past. So the question was, have you ever seen an alligator? And she said, yes. Oosh. Yes, I have. Let's write here the question mark. I saw, you said one, right, Margarita? You said one, right? 
Yes. I saw one. In the zoo two years ago. Excellent. Thank you. In the zoo two years ago. Ego. Okay. So let's check here. In our question, what is the form of the question? What is the tense? Is it present perfect or simple past? What is present the tense? Perfect. Present perfect, right? It's not investigating a specific time. It's not saying, did you see an alligator yesterday, last week? No, right? It's like some time in your life. And the answer, yes, I have, is the short answer. That's present perfect. But now I continue giving the specific information about the past. What is the specific time here in the answer? Two years ago. Two years ago. That's great. Nice one. Very good job, guys. Okay, let's formulate another one. Daisy, are you here, Daisy? Um, sorry, Sandy. Sandy Roxana. Sandy, Wendy Adamaris. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. Por fin conecté. Yes, very good. That's nice. No problem there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I need you to formulate the question using have you ever and select one of these pictures. Cualquiera. The one that you prefer. You're going to ask Roberto. Roberto, you're here, right? Roberto, hello Roberto. No. Brenda? Is no Brenda? Hello. No. Hello. Okay. Go ahead then and ask the question. Um, Wendy? Have you ever visited a space center? Have you ever? Visited a space center. A space center. Thank you. What's the answer? No, I have. No, I no, haven't. I have... No, I haven't. Uh huh. Go gone. Visited? Vis no, visited. I haven't visited. No, I haven't visited a spy center. That's right. Or also it can be, no, I never have, right? So that will be two possibilities. Thank you. Very good job. Nice. Okay. We got this exercise. Any question about it? No questions? No question, teacher. No? All right, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your participation, your attendance. Remember to finish the platform by today. And tomorrow we continue, okay? I will send you also more exercises, videos and more exercises to continue reinforcing. Thank you so much. Okay, thank thank you. Have a beautiful thank night. You. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Have a great Sweet night. Point, Thanks a lot. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. you. A pleasure, guys. Good Sweet night. dreams. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. Good Bye. night. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs>